Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a community map using a key. I come right here in the center and I'm going to draw a triangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now I come directly below and I draw another triangle, this time straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come way over here on the right hand side and I'm going to draw another triangle going straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And now I go straight across and I'm going to draw another triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And that's because this are, these are my directions. So I put a letter N for north. Come down below, S for south, come on the right, E for east, and on the left, W for west, okay? Now, right next to my east, I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle. So I draw a straight line, straight line all the way down straight line over, come up to the top, straight line down, 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 connect. And this is going to be our key. We'll explain that later in a minute. Got to set up our, our map first. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle that fills in the space next to my key. So I go straight line across, straight line down. Come back up here, straight line down, straight line across. Okay, it's a little bit over, but that's okay. Now I'm going to come in and draw my streets. So I start right here towards the center and I draw a straight line down, straight line towards the left. Then I come right down below and I draw a straight line in straight line down, straight line out to the left, and then I come in one more time and I draw a straight line in, straight line down to the pop bottom part of my rectangle. I'm going to mimic these lines on this side. So I start over here on the top and I go straight line down, straight line over to the right, straight line down, straight line over to the right, come up on top, do another straight line to the right. Now I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over to the right. These are my streets, okay? How do I know what they are? I'm going to label them. The main street is Main Street. M-A-I-N-S T R E E T. Main Street goes right through town. My first street going from west to east is going to be Pearl, P E A R L, Avenue, A V E N U E. Right below Pearl Avenue is Emerald Avenue, E M E. R A L D Avenue. Okay? So Main Street runs north to south or south to north, and Pearl Avenue goes west to east, and Emerald Avenue goes west to east. Okay? But now I'm going to fill in my key, and this is so I don't have to write everything in these little boxes. I'm going to use this as my designators. So, I draw a triangle and underneath I go straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I put one, two, three little straight lines and this is going to represent a house. H-O-U-S-E. 
Right below my house, I'm going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line connect. And inside this rectangle, I'm going to draw the letter S and two straight lines. That's the symbol for money, and that means this represents a bank. Underneath my bank, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect. This is my tree for my park, P-A-R-K. Now, below my park, I draw another rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. I put a curve line at the top, and I draw one, two straight diagonals across. This represents my um, represents a store. Underneath my store, I'm going to do this as a symbol for mountains. I'm just going to put the abbreviation MTS, period. And the last thing I'm going to draw is straight diagonal, straight diagonal, zigzag, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And this pencil represents my school. Now I can use my key to unlock my community map. Let me show you what we're going to do. First off, everybody in this community lives by what? I look over my, my key. This is the symbol for mountains. So everybody lives by the mountains. And if they live by the mountains, they've got to live inside a house. So I'm going to put triangle. Well, they don't have to live in a house house, but this community will put house house. They could live in apartments too. But this one we're going to do triangle, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, triangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Okay. Then I come down Pearl Avenue off of Main Street and I run into this. So I look at the symbol, look over here, and that's my park. So next to my park, I also have this, which is, I look over here, and that's the bank. So next to the park, there's a bank. Now I cross Main Street, I'm kind of on the east side of town, and I see straight diagonal, straight diagonal, zigzag. Straight line, straight line, straight line, little straight lines, connect. I come over to my symbols and what's across the street from the bank and the park? It's a school. So this represents school. Now I come by Emerald Street off of Main Street and I draw one rectangle, curve line on top, straight diagonal, then I draw another rectangle, curve line on top, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, and then right here I draw another curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. I look over at my key to unlock my map. This is a store and this is a store and they are both by a park. Now I cross Main Street and I find another section of what? I look over and it's my park and next to the park I find more triangle squares dot dot triangle square dot 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 triangle square dot dot so next to this park there are still more houses so, if you live in the neighborhood north by the mountains, you have the mountains to look at, but if you live south, on this side of the community, you have a park right next to you, stores, looks like the school is even Stephen right between everything. So this is a very good community map. Let's see how we're going to color it in. Okay, this is one of those times where you want to use certain light colors so that you see everything you just drew because there's a lot going on in this community map. So the first thing I want to do is I'm taking my yellow and I'm coloring in my streets. 
and that's so I can look right at my map and see that my streets are all colored in with yellow okay next I want my mountains I'm just gonna put some brown like this on my mountains up at the north part and that neighborhood I'm gonna do pink houses and I'm going to do blue roofs and that's just my choice you can make yours any color you want now I come down to my other neighborhood down here on the southern part and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to make these rooftops blue and I'm going to do the bottoms pink okay you can choose any colors you want now I'm going to do my trees for my parks green and this is a very nice area they've got three different parks you can go to I'm gonna do my tree trunks brown okay next I'm going to color in my pencil pink eraser little tip okay Next, I'm going to do my stores. I'm going to color these red. Line those all up. And I think that's it. Oops, I forgot my money. Don't forget your money. I'm going to do this all green. Now, to make a difference on what our land area is, I take a light green and I'm going to color around all of the rectangles that make up my map. And that's just so that I can see the difference where there's land versus where there's streets. So I'm going to make all this green. Because when you look at a map, you want to be able to see it and recognize what's going on immediately. So I'm making all of these little land parcels green. Now I also want my directionals to show up. So my north, south, east, and west I'm also going to make yellow so that pops. Okay. Now your key needs to line up with whatever you drew over I'm um, colored in over here so your if your houses are all pink and blue your key whoops should be pink and blue money green trees for the park green and brown My stores will have them be red. Mountains, just a little bit of brown so you can see it. And my pencil for my school. Now I'm going to leave my key white because that also is different than what we just used for the main part of the map. Okay, that's a lot. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my community map all colored in using a key to designate what you're looking at. And once you've done your map, then it would be interesting to make up questions and see who can answer using the directionals where everything is. Personally, I would like to live off of Main Street and Pearl Avenue up in the mountains. Very nice. Okay, bye-bye.